a landmark ruling on football transfers will change the landscape of the professional game. That's from Players Union FIFPro after a top European court found some of FIFA's rules go against EU law and restrict the freedom of movement. TalkSport's Max Scott has more on what this decision could mean for professional footballers. Pandora's box has been opened and ultimately players can now in theory terminate their contracts in order to move to a new club. This is because Europe's top courts ruled FIFA's transfer rules go against their freedom of movement laws and breach competition law. Now it's quite complicated but stay with me. The case dates back to 2014 when former Chelsea and Real Madrid midfielder Lasana Diara got into a row with his club locomotive Moscow when they wanted to reduce his salary. Diara then refused to train, so the club terminated his contract. Not only that, but Lokomotiv then sued him for damages and won. FIFA ruled Diara owed the club 10 million euros and then banned him from playing until he paid it. At the same time, he got an offer from Belgian club Charleroi. Now the problem was, FIFA regulations stated in cases like this, the new club is jointly liable to pay compensation, so Charleroi pulled out of the deal. Now, the ECJ has ruled FIFA's regulations were unlawful here and Diara was unfairly treated. So what does this mean for the game? Well, the bargaining power's shifting even more away from clubs to players and their agents. For example, if Madrid wanted Cole Palmer, Palmer could in theory rip up his Chelsea contract, that nine-year one, sign for Madrid without Madrid paying a penny. The player could face repercussions, but his new club wouldn't. Thief Pro, the players' union, say this is going to change the landscape of professional football and the lawyer in charge of Diara's case believes the history of the game can now be divided into two eras, before this ruling and after. This is, um, this is a crazy ruling and I said this at the top of the show, this could be as big as the Bosman uh, ruling which was massive and that completely changed the landscape of football. But this one, when you think about it, I mean, it's basically saying, look, if you have a contract with a club, mm. you can buy yourself out of that contract. Of course. You know how crazy that is? I mean, you've got to, first and foremost, first and foremost, you have to be a big dough to be able to do that. Well, yeah, but, you say but, that, but some of these footballers, if they've got a year left and yeah. they want to go, they, they, well, here, here you go. But you'd, you'd expect... Surely it can't be that simple. No, but also you'd expect the clubs to go, listen, we want we want to sign you, so we'll, we'll front up the money for you to pay your contract off. But that's where this, whatever they do, whatever FIFA do next, it has to be watertight because we've already seen already, we, we spoke about FFP, and then clubs are trying to find their way around it with yeah. getting academy players and selling them to this club to get yeah. money to do you know what I mean? So you get uh hundred percent profit and all that kind of stuff. But if they're gonna if this this is a, a massive deal and I think FIFA before they kind of set this in stone, they're gonna have to really look at all the loopholes because someone will find something from somewhere. It's already changed so much, hasn't it, already though? When you look at sort of top players now running down contracts. Mm -hmm. But the idea, I, mean, I know Chelsea uh, take it to the extreme in terms of the length of contract they give players, but a lot of players now are signing two-year deals. Mm. Whereas back in the day, you wanted a five-year deal to Security. secure your future. Yeah. But now players are betting on themselves. I mean, Trent's got nothing left. He's got eight months left. Well, Virgil van Dijk, well, you know well, top top players now are getting paid ridiculous. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Obviously, the generation before mine, obviously, it's always relevant in terms of time. Yeah. But when you look at what the boys at the top now are earning. I mean, some guys are earning three hundred fifty thousand pounds per week. Mm. Like so, security is not so much. <laughs> Do you know, if you sign a two-year contract on that amount of money, that's life-changing money anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So. I can understand why some of these guys would be thinking, well, do I really need to sign a, a five-year contract? I remember going to Spurs and their, their thing was five plus one. That was standard. Five years and with the year option. That's crazy, isn't that, it? That was always just a standard deal. Five it's plus one. It's completely changed now. But yeah, again, this Lasana Diara um, ruling, yeah. I, I think will change the way football looks in the next few years, if it hasn't already. This is very big news, I think this is. Paul Pogba's mm. four-year drug ban has been reduced to 18 months following a successful appeal at the Court of Arbitration for Sport. The former Man United midfielder was hit with the ban after featuring for Juventus in her opening game of the 23-24 season against Udinese on August 20th. He is free to start playing for Juventus again from March next year. He was originally banned until August 2027. He'll be 32 by the mm. time this ban's up. Hmm. Straight to Saudi. Straight, straight to Saudi? Yeah. yeah. I, that, that, I mean, it just, it just seems to... I mean, he's, he's there a, a lot, actually. He's a, he's a big name and yeah. just... He's still that? He's still a big name? This hasn't yeah, tarnished anything? Yeah. This hasn't no, no, tarnished. yeah, of course. Like, it wouldn't, yeah. like, you can't... So, will, will there still be interest, though? Yeah, there will be. Yeah. There will be, yeah. 100%. Do you think he can get his way back into the French squad? 
Mm, I don't know about that, but well, fair. But didn't he show up to the to meet the team? Yeah. And, and he was in a, he was somewhere with all the fans, and they were yeah. singing his they, name. They, they loved him. him. They love him still. When you, you look at, I mean, he won the World Cup with them, didn't he? So look at Kante. Obviously, look, Kante's been playing football, but he went to Saudi, and yeah. he was arguably the France French's best player. Yeah, I think I think I think there might be a way back, but he needs to get back playing and hit the ground running. Okay, interesting. Um, it'll be interesting to see the interest from any Premier League sides. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.